Hey guys, it's Shellabixer and welcome back to the long-awaited return of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Let's continue on. My apologies... My apologies for not being... Well, my apologies for not recording for a while, it's just I've been very busy with side projects and that. Never fear, I'm back now. And what's this? A Mako Fountain. It's a miracle of nature. Like the bee. Buzzes around all day, makes honey. That's what I call a miracle of nature. You know, I'd love to be able to you know, grab a flower and turn it into honey. Or, well, pollinate it. Well, you know what I mean. you got a very weird hat there, Tifa. You look a bit like Indiana Jones. So you use your fists and not a whip. No. Ooh. Also, sorry if I'm, like, talking a bit quieter. It's just I'm trying out this um, new headset thing I've got, because someone's borrowing my current one. You know, whenever I... I've been playing around with the sound levels and that, and whenever I talk in my usual voice, what I do with the other one, it produces really loud, and you can hear, like, not really feedback, but it's like... I don't know, the, the quality isn't so good if I talk like I normally do. Maybe I should get, like, a, um, a cover for it, so... It's not as loud. It's something I don't know. Ah 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 ah. Did I say something funny? And um, Tifa seems to be dead by the look of her. Um. <laughs> oh, who was that? Yeah, who was that? Hojo. Hmm. Wow. How old is Hojo? Like, 50? Ah, the knowledge of the ancients. The masters of making honey. Ah, if only we could talk to them now. Oh, I've got to stop talking about honey. Anyway, we're about halfway through the flashback, I think. So, we're almost there. Okay, um... Oh yeah, for the record, I'm not sure if I showed this last time, but we can have a look at uh, Sephiroth. Revive, restore, earth, all of it, as you can see, mastered. Uh, all master, fire, all lightning master, all ice master. If we try and remove it, he doesn't really like it. What's he equipped with? A Masamune, a gold armlet, and a tough ring. Or Tauf ring. Hmm. <laughs> it's a bit incredible that they didn't know how to spell tough. Yeah, as I said, Final Fantasy VII is full of uh, <clears throat> grammatical errors and word errors and that. I am Bangor and a power wrist. Well, wow, Clown's really equipped for the job. And his materia was preemptive. Alright, let's go in. Yep. Why couldn't we just, like, take the uh, truck over here? That would have saved a lot of time. And we wouldn't have been attacked by monsters either. But... Yeah, again, that Shinra guard there, he is very important to the plot. You don't know it yet. Well, unless you've played the game before, but I'm going to try not to spoil anything. Oh, we will take care of you. Oh, wait. 
not that way. Mm. Yeah, um, as soon as health and safety here, we're walking on like just a, <laughs> a bit of plank here. Um, and we have to climb down chains, wow. Seriously, in this day of age, in this day and age, you know, Shinra, they would have been sued for billions by now, I'm telling you. Okay, look at all these cogs. Wow. Pods. <laughs> Alright, Sephiroth. Genova. Oh, really? How can you tell? Close the valve. How do we close the valve? Uh... Oh, well, let's talk to Sephiroth. Did you close the valve? What valve? Oh. Okay, fair enough. Right, Sephiroth. Why did it break? I don't know. Things tend to break over time. Something wrong? Oh. Excuse me? this? Uh, Barry Burton, living legend, well, technically not living, fictional legend. Don't worry, I'll be going through the Barry Burton adventures one day. Some kind of monster? Hojo! Oh, Cloud, what have you done? No. Was I? Oh, snap! Oh, of course not. You don't have tentacles and other monster-like things. Gee, Sephiroth is going batshit. Don't do that, mate. You're going to break it even more. Human? No way! Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you're not a monster. I mean, I would take it a bit too far, perhaps, but... Oh? Malfunction! Oh? Oh, God, ew. Oh, man. Shouldn't we, like, kill him before he attacks us? Am I... human? I didn't quite understand what Sephiroth was talking at that time. I was even more surprised by the fact that Shinra were producing monsters. I wouldn't be too surprised. And um, we're back in the end. But, that's not it, folks. We still had a bit more flashback yet to go. That would. So, when we were blowing up that reactor, we were actually blowing up a load of humans turned into monsters. Alright, um... 
Let's keep talking. Phew. Tifa, you were waiting outside then? No. She was getting it on with that Shinra guard. Hmm. Disappeared. Vanished into thin air. Oh. Shinra Mansion. So I'm guessing that is the uh, Shinra Mansion right there. I wonder why Sephiroth will be in there. What the hell was that? Okay, so here we are. Um, we could go in here. Not really a lot to see. Just a room. Another room. But, I suppose we should get straight on with the plot, so let's go up here, up here, and around here. Right? Okay, thanks. Aha! Now, I could turn the red arrows off for now, but sometimes I like them on, because in some parts of this game it's really quite hard to tell where you can go and where you can't, but I'll have it turned off for now. Again, this room will be fairly important for the future. In we go. Geological Stratum. Straton. Genova. What Sephiroth is reading, I'm not too sure about. He's got some big trousers. It's like a skirt. Probably not. I mean, how many people in projects do you meet called Genova? Why did he die? Let's go and talk to Sephiroth. You right, mate? Let me be alone. Okay. Leave him be, we shall. Sephiroth didn't come out the Shinra mansion. He continued to read as if he were possessed by something, and not once did the light in the basement go out. Hmm. Well, it's Sephiroth. Hopefully he won't go ape shit and kill everyone. Hmm. So wait, why do we sleep in the inn for the first night? Why don't we stay in here, get a room for free? Hmm. Epic music. Alright, let's go and talk to uh, Sephiroth. No, no, not this room. Urgh. Sephiroth seems different. Maybe we really should get an elevator installed in this place. It will save a lot of time. And yet again, health and safety. No banister. If someone fell down here, well, there's blame, there's claim. Okay. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. Hmm, my voice acting sucks. 
Yeah, again, so did my let's play, so I suppose it's fair enough. Right, Sephiroth? Who is it? Huh. Traitor. Traitor? You ignorant traitor. I'll tell you. Oh, another story. This is a point where I sometimes get a bit confused with all this Cetra and Ancients and all that. Supreme happiness. Oh, okay. Thanks. Sephiroth. Sorry folks, I'm trying to be quiet, it's quite an epic scene. Etc. Oh cool, 